Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm continuing my series of movies I missed and today I'm going to be reviewing The Houses October Built that was released in 2014. And this is a movie that I do remember seeing the trailer of at the time and I thought it looked quite an effective trailer. But it, it's a, a movie I missed completely and I wasn't doing the channel at that time. Um, so it wouldn't have been a movie that would really have been on my radar to search out and watch. So consequently I missed it. This was brought to my attention again recently through watching other videos on YouTube. And I saw this and I saw that it was a found footage horror movie. Now I know some of you may be rolling your eyes. But for me personally, um, I think if a horror movie does a found footage type of movie and it does it well then they could be really, really effective movies. And I've seen some fairly effective found footage movies recently. Um, the found footage 3D that I reviewed recently on the channel, I thought was very good. Um, Hell House LLC, I thought was tremendous. And even though I didn't review this on this channel, I reviewed it on the Geek Legion of Doom channel. So they are out there, um, effective um, found footage movies. So I'm always interested to see um, a found footage horror movie to see if they can deliver, if it can deliver. And this one, while I feel isn't as effective as the two I just mentioned, I do think it's an half decent found footage horror movie. And it's got quite an interesting story about it. This um, the actors that you see in the movie are actually the creators of the movie as well, the directors and um, the writers, all that kind of stuff. The only actress is the woman in the movie who they brought in and she was friends of them anyway. Um, and initially they funded the movie themselves, they went around um, America to film and document all these um, haunted houses that go on in America over Halloween period. So they spent months doing that and then they incorporated their movie into it. Um, and when it was shown, wanting, they wanted to get distribution. When it did get some interest, they wanted them to refilm it with a better budget. So they did it. They, they refilmed it with a better budget and this is the version that we get. So essentially, as I've said, this is what happens. It's, it's a group of friends. They want to document um, some of the uh, most extreme haunted houses in America in the Halloween period. So they travel around visiting some that have got reputations for being the most extreme. Each one they go to seems to be more extreme than the last, but also each one they go to, there seems to be like one masked person there that is following them or is overly interested in them. And they, they kind of attract this attention because they are quite um, vocal and um a bit abrasive and a bit um un unkind sometimes but i don't think aggressively so but um it it draws the wrong kind of attention so each one they go to um is worse than the last until they finally get invited to one that is supposedly the most extreme one um out there is i think it's called the blue crystal or something it's some kind of code word that they've got to search out and if they're lucky enough, they will get invited to this um, extreme haunted house. Uh, so they eventually get to that situation where they get invited to this one. And as you could imagine, it doesn't go particularly well. And in what way? I'm not going to say. You'll have to find that out for yourself. So I, it, it's good, this movie. I think it, it, it's, it's a good watch. I think... The build-up is actually quite good. The fact that it keeps escalating the, the RV that they're travelling in. It keeps getting um, stalked if on a nightly basis. How they manage to find them because they're at different locations. Sometimes hundreds of miles from the last one. I don't know how they manage to keep finding them. That's never explained. It seems a bit odd. But each night there's you know there might be somebody outside the RV or banging on it or you know leaving things on the um, windscreen wipers, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the the tension that keep it, it keeps building up to this crescendo, and you expect it to be this massive, um, really big climax at the end, and it's a bit of a deflated balloon. I think the ending it's it's not what I expected. It's a bit tamer, than, well, a lot tamer than I expected, and you might find it a bit of a letdown if you're expected to see a certain thing at the end. Um, and you don't really get it 
um, you might find it, it, it a bit disappointing. I found it a bit disappointing in the ending, but I didn't hate it. I thought it was okay. Um, just I thought the movie was okay. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a fairly effective at times. And my understanding is there's a sequel on the way. Apparently, it's, I think it's just been released. So hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on that in a in, in a few weeks when it comes to DVD or on video on demand. And I will probably review that as well. So. I think if you find, like found footage movies, I think this one would be worth checking out.